Brock Lesnar has been in the spotlight recently. Whether it's his retirement from the UFC or his return to the WWE on SmackDown's first episode on Fox in October 2019, you've probably seen Lesnar's name pop up recently. But whether you know him from his time in the UFC, WWE, New Japan Pro Wrestling, or just because you listen to podcasts, there's one thing I can bet on. You probably don't like him. This dislike is ubiquitous, and it got us wondering, could people's dislike of Lesnar actually be masking his obscene success as an athlete? So that's the question we've set out to answer. Is Brock Lesnar actually the greatest athlete of our generation? Let's just say this, Brock Lesnar is a genetic freak. He looks like what would happen if you crossed a bear with a mountain from Game of Thrones. He's 6 foot 3, 280 pounds, although the UFC listed him as fighting at 265. He has a listed reach of 6 foot 9 according to the UFC, which is just 4 inches shorter than the longest recorded reach in the UFC, a record which belongs to fellow freak John Jones. Lesnar possesses frightening speed for his size, which he demonstrated in his fight against Heath Herring at UFC 87. You tell me if you want to see a man at that size with a giant knife tattooed on his chest hurtling at you at full speed. One of the things that Frank Mir commented oh, on. Oh, big right hand. Him. Herring goes spinning back. What I was going to say is one of the things that Frank Mir commented on is the speed of Brock Lesnar. That it's very surprising and right when I was saying that he jumps in with a fast right hand. But before we get into why people take exception to the beast, let's get a sense of what he's accomplished in his life. Remember, the question we're trying to answer here is if Brock Lesnar is the greatest athlete of our generation. With that in mind, you have to go back to Lesnar's college days. Lesnar was a serious wrestler in high school in South Dakota, but he got no major Division I scholarships for wrestling out of high school. So he went to wrestle at Bismarck State College. He won a JUCO National Championship there. He then transferred to wrestling powerhouse University of Minnesota, where he was runner-up to the national champion in his first year. As a senior, Lesnar won the national championship and ended his career as a two-time NCAA Division I All-American. Fast forward three years, Lesnar wins his first WWE championship at age 25. At that time, he was the youngest man to ever hold that title. By the way, he won it by beating The Rock. It's at this point that we should explain why we'll continue to bring up his pro wrestling accomplishments. Obviously, he didn't win them in legitimate wrestling matches, so why should they factor into his claim as the greatest athlete? Well, a crucial piece to being a great athlete is your marketability and versatility. While pro wrestling is not a competition in the strictest sense, the men who hold the biggest titles are generally marketable and have the biggest name recognition after holding it. For example, the title Lesnar won was held by the likes of Ric Flair, The Rock, Kurt Angle, and Randy Orton, all names you've probably heard. And if you've never watched a wrestling match before, there's some real stuff in there. Lesnar left the WWE in an ugly split and turned his attention to new ventures. Now, when normal people leave their job, they probably try to look for a job in the same or similar field, maybe take some time off. When Brock Lesnar does it, he goes to play football. Despite not having played since high school, Lesnar signed with the Minnesota Vikings as a defensive lineman and despite being injured in a motorcycle accident just months before. If you think it's fake, Lesnar actually played in a couple preseason games for the Vikings in 2004 and even had a football card. Lesnar was one of the last men cut from the roster days before the regular season began. Not so impressive until you remember, Lesnar had not played football of any kind in almost a decade. He described his two months in Vikings training camp as one of the hardest things he ever did. Lesnar then went to Japan to compete in the New Japan Pro Wrestling promotion. He won their IWGP Heavyweight Championship in his first match and was just the fourth American to do so. You seeing a pattern? Of course, now we get to his combat sports record. In the UFC, you earn titles and you do it the hard way. That's exactly what Lesnar did. At UFC 91, Lesnar defeated maybe the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighter of all time, Randy Couture, and captured the UFC Heavyweight Championship. So now, let's talk about why people don't like him, and it's clear they don't. MMA and wrestling fans alike can't seem to stand the guy, and it seems clear why. Lesnar comes off as a cocky, arrogant recluse who cares only about money. 
If you're a UFC fan, you hate him for failing a post-fight drug test after his UFC 200 match with Mark Hunt, which was declared a no contest. He put Hunt in extra danger by taking steroids for a fight. If you're a WWE fan, you hate him because he wins belts but doesn't wrestle every week. You see countless complaints of him tying up championships for months without fighting. At the end of the day, almost all the complaints center around Lesnar having things handed to him. He's been treated with rubber gloves and doesn't have to go through the same things other athletes have to deal with. While this may seem to be true from a certain perspective, Lesnar has gone through more in his life than you may think, and the adversity he's faced may clue you into his unique road through all of these sports. Lesnar grew up on a farm in Webster, South Dakota, with very little money. He's described farm life as long and difficult. Regardless of whether his time or his health, he had his work to do on the farm. He initially enlisted in the Army National Guard when he was 17 and aspired to work with hazardous materials and explosives, but he's red-green colorblind and was told he would not be allowed to do this job. Later, he nearly lost his spot on the Minnesota wrestling team due to an issue in his academic credits transferring over from Bismarck State College. The way Lesnar describes it, he had to drive straight from Minnesota to a small school in California, one of the only schools that hadn't started classes by the time UM found the mistake. He arrived on campus and enrolled hours before his first class. After he won a national championship at Minnesota, the pinnacle of his career at that point, Lesnar fell into depression, the classic what now question burning in his mind. Because of this, Lesnar struggled with alcohol and painkiller addiction early in his career, leading to the infamous plane ride from hell incident in the WWE. A motorcycle accident nearly cost Lesnar his fledgling football career. He nearly broke his neck in a bot shooting star press at WrestleMania 19. Then of course came his diverticulitis, a stomach condition that nearly ended his career and his life. After doctors failed to diagnose his condition initially, Lesnar found himself clinging to life with a 104 degree fever. Brock described the incident on an episode of the Steve Austin show, quote, there's something physically wrong with me. My doctor came into my room. He said, I'm going to give you eight hours. I'm going to try to save your fight career, but if I can't and I got to save your life, I'm going to save your life before I save your career. Lesnar's fever broke just before he was rushed into emergency surgery. Lesnar had the surgery later on, but the disease nearly ended his career. So after all that being said, where do we stand? When it comes to Lesnar's failed UFC drug test, he was fined and suspended, and that fight was declared a no contest. You can hate him if you want, but then you'd have to hate all the other fighters who failed drug tests, and there are a lot of them. If you hate him because of his irregular appearances in WWE, the man nearly lost his life to a disease that could still flare up at any point. You can ask that he not hold titles because of this, but at 41 years old you can hardly blame the man for not wanting to wrestle every single week. If you hate him for his ego or his arrogance, you may just be misinterpreting it. To hear Lesnar describe it, he just doesn't like being around people. I just don't like being around a bunch of people and, and it's kind of ironic because I can go out in, in, a, in a, an arena full of, of 20,000 people and be alright with it. Only because I think I feel like I've got I'm shell I I feel like I'm in this dome and I'm protected, you know. And, but you get me out in public and and uh, or or anywhere around a bunch of people and I'm I I just. So here's what we know: Lesnar won one of the greatest prizes in amateur wrestling, the greatest prize in pro wrestling, and the greatest prize in mixed martial arts. He is the only man in history to win an NCAA, WWE, and UFC title. This means that he's been the best wrestler, the most marketable athlete, and the baddest man on the planet at separate times. This is a man who transcended sports and borders. A man who nearly lost his mind due to stress and anxiety, for which he had that sword tattooed on his chest, and then nearly lost his life to a disease he tried to fight through. His final UFC record of 5-3 is not remarkable, but he ran through some of the greatest in the history of the sport, Randy Couture and Frank Mir among them, and main evented UFC cards over the space of almost a decade. When you think the greatest athletes of a generation, you think multi-sport phenoms like Jim Thorpe, Jackie Robinson, and Bo Jackson. But to walk out of a sport as difficult on your body as pro wrestling, and into possibly the most brutal sport on earth in cage fighting, and win a championship shows athletic acumen very few men have ever showed. 
So if you still hate him now, you have that right. But just remember, there's more to Brock Lesnar than the character of Brock Lesnar. And when you take it all in totality, you may just see that Lesnar could be the greatest athlete of his generation. <laughs>